to give it a stroke or two. So just imagine that that travel valve does not get open and allow it for any fluid in there. So you can see right now we're barely producing anything. So just imagine that that travel valve does not open and we're not producing any fluid like we basically are right now. That's more of a gas lock situation. Two things are happening that are very important here. The pressure in between our standing valve and our traveling valve is not overcoming the pressure on top of it. So in other words, let's say that we have a 100 pounds force on top of it and we have 80 pounds in here, for example. That pressure here will never lift that valve because there's 20 pounds more force on top of it. So we are not going to go ahead and open our valve to allow that gas to burp up through it. Very simple, right? The other thing is, let's say that we have 50 pounds of um, uh, inflow pressure. So yeah. our pump intake pressure, let's say it's 50 pounds. Yeah. If we have 80 pounds of pressure inside of our lower chamber of our pump here, with 50 pounds, our standing valve will never open. Fluid being non-compressible, if we could bring more fluid into the pump, we would raise this, it would increase the pressure, and we would go ahead and break the gas lock. Yeah. But because our standing valve is staying closed because we have a low inflow pressure, this pressure here keeps that valve closed. The pressure here does not overcome what's on top of it. So our traveling valve is closed, our standing valve is closed, the pump's going up and down, and it's Nothing producing no fluid at all. Gas lock. No production being made. Gas interference, still making some type of production, be it varied due to the amount of gas that you have. Got it, okay. So now you why I say that to me there's a very strong difference between the two.